Hi, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing a nibble, a byte and hexadecimal. So these are the decimal values contained in the 8 bits of a byte. The term byte was first coined in June 1956 by a gentleman called Werner Busch Holtz, probably pronounced the name wrong, working on the design phase of the IBM stress computer. So a byte, also known as an octet, because there are 8 bits. So in computing and certainly programming, this is the most significant bit, this is the least significant bit, bit 7, bit 6, bit 5, bit 4, bit 3, bit 2, bit 1, bit 0. So 0 is a number. If you only want numbers counting up to 255, you only need 1 byte, 8 bits. But I'll start with a nibble. So nibble is half a byte, bit 3, bit 2, bit 1, bit 0. So these four zeros represent the least significant nibble the low nibble, and then you've got the high nibble up here. What I'll do now, I'll start this counting in ones, so you can just watch this lower nibble. It's important to mention this zero is a number. So when it increments, it's incremented from zero to one. Right, I've started the counter. Remember, we're counting from zero. So notice we've got to 15 just using those first four bits, just that lower nibble. 15, so 15 is a, an 8, a 4, a 2 and a 1 added together. Now, this is the important bit. It's got to count one extra clock to get back. One extra count. You could describe it that way. If getting back from 15 to 0 needs a count, or from 0 to 1 needs a count. So counting to 15 and back to 0, there are actually 16 counts. Or counting from 0 to 15, there are 16 counts. Obviously, yeah, all computers and certainly microcontrollers count in this fashion. There are companies who modify the byte to suit their own needs and you get binary coded decimal. And instead of these incrementing by 16, they increment about tens. So that'd be a 10, 20, 40 and an 80. So there are always 8 bits in a byte. A nibble is always four bits, but you've got two nibbles, least significant bit, or least significant nibble, most significant nibble. Well, so now I'll put on the bottom of the screen the hexadecimal counter. Well, I've now introduced hexadecimal down here. Watch when it gets to 9 or over 9. A, B, C, D, E, F. So in the early decades, the 1950s, Apparently there was one guy used UVWXYZ for the additional six characters, but IBM changed it and started at A. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So why is hexadecimal so important? Well, if you're keeping account of something, let's say you've got fifteen of something, and you're putting this into memory, 
you need a position for the tens and then a position for the units. Hexadecimal you can count to 15 just in four bits, one nibble and you've still got the other half of a byte. So hexadecimal takes up less storage in a computer. So this hexadecimal or decimal and binary these as I said were the decimal values you could actually turn on a port. You could say port B for example port B equals 15 it will turn on the four lowest bits. If you say port B equals 32 it will turn on bit 765 it will turn on bit 5 and leave the rest off. Just a little tip. Now let me introduce the higher nibble. Right, this is the lower nibble, this is the higher nibble. Watch this count. F, one extra count to get back to zero. Sixteen. So now we've got a 16 in the higher nibble. F1, F31, 2 in the higher nibble. So 2 in the higher nibble, we've got 32. So you can see the higher nibble counts up in 16s. So when this first nibble is full, we've got 16. That overflows and puts one in the higher nibble. It's got to F again. 40. Or well, we've got four 16s. F again. So now you can see this higher nibble has reached 9 and now it's gone from 10 11 12 13 14 so we just want one more 16 to fill up this high nibble notice the 16 is empty at the moment there we go so now wait for this to fill up. There we go. 
a full byte, all the ones, add these numbers up, 255 or FF. So FF gives us 255 in two places. Now I'll speed this up a bit. So FF, two nibbles, one byte in memory to hold three decimal places. So FF255, but the computer or microcontroller has seen this as 256 because it counts from zero. And I've speeded things up a bit. You will have seen these ones shifting up. This is the binary representation of the number or hexadecimal number we're showing here. This is it in binary, so now you know how binary works, why it is and how it is. The binary represent these decimal numbers. So decimal, binary, decimal, hexadecimal. Thanks for watching.